Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here. We're back here on the dealership. Now we got a few things going today, including this bus. I did sell it for, I think it was like $1,200. Literally all we did was paint it and fixed up the engine. The original engine's still in there, so it struggles a bit. Uh, we got these two right here are leaving. So this guy actually, with his second gen, it's a 1999, it's a dually all pretty much done up other than the rims and tires well no nope, those are custom tires so yeah he's pretty much showed up here with his flatbed we're gonna get these loaded up because he literally just paid for them and did all the paperwork he, i think he's in there doing some minor things right now i'm gonna get this started up because it takes forever to get down this anyways as you can see why he bought that truck but we also got these over here from SEMA, which the Ford is going sadly. I do love this truck a bunch. It does kind of match the third gen that we used to, for SEMA as well. But uh, I guess when it comes down to it, you got to make money somehow. So this truck is officially leaving today, sadly. I don't know. Maybe we'll build another one in the future. And then the C10 is still up for sale. So, meanwhile, yeah, we got to get these second gens loaded up here. And then we also got to go look at our shovel. And I think we can load So, let's go back here and set it. Alright, guys, so we are on our way now to go look at the Ford and the Chevy. Now, it's both the same owner that owns them. So. Hopefully, we can scoop them both up for kind of a good deal, but I have no clue. I mean, all I know is I definitely want the Ford, because we, we haven't really done much of this body of Ford at the dealership. And, I mean, I do want the Chevy, but I could live without it. But, we could take this way, I think we'll take, because his house is somewhere along here, I think it's... Right on the other side of that blue garage over there. So we gotta take this little road here. Hopefully we fit. Yep. There they are. So we'll just park right here. And let's get out and look at them quickly. So this is I believe his work truck here. It's a twenty eleven, I think. Chevy Silverado. It's a shorty, obviously. It has some nice wheels and tires. Not that that matters. We will be changing those. But yeah, we'd be completely redoing these. I can't remember if we've actually done any of these at the shop. I don't think we have. But I definitely want this right here. This is a 2016 Platinum. This is going to be more of a higher costly truck. But uh, pretty nice, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to go talk to the guy. And hopefully we get somewhat of a deal. They both run and drive, so that's definitely a plus. Alright guys, so we did end up scooping them both up for pretty excellent of a deal. We ended up getting this for 20 grand, and this one was 5 grand because, you know, package deal kind of thing. Although 5 grand for this is an excellent, excellent deal. So we're going to start by, I think we'll get this thing loaded up first, so... Okay, or maybe not. Yeah. So, the only thing that he said was really done to this thing was the tint. Other than that, everything else is completely stock. Okay, maybe not. Cab lights don't really look stock. But, everything else, I believe, is stock. I mean, pretty all-around decent little truck. It is a diesel, so that is nice. It is kind of hard to find the diesel shorty, so. We'll definitely get this thing up on the trailer here. Get this thing strapped down. I'm going to get the Ford loaded up, and we will head back to the shop here. Alright guys, so we are making our way back to the dealership here. It does look like there is another truck sitting out front there. 
I think I talked to him on the phone, I believe, and he's looking for a trade, I believe, so might be kind of cool. We're doing a whole bunch of different trucks today that we really haven't done in ever. So we'll get this unloaded here. And we'll get this Ford taken out. Pretty clean truck, honestly. I mean, this thing only has, I think, 164,000 kilometers on it. So it is relatively low for its age. Yeah, this is a clean truck. I mean, I could just leave this thing stock, but uh, we're not going to do that. I got some things in mind for it. And I'll tell you guys this. We're either going to go with this color right here, this tan, or we are going to do a different color. More of a common color, I'd say. I'm actually just going to throw this thing up on the lift here. And for that Chevy over there, we are still waiting for parts. But uh, I think there are s some parts on the way for it. We did get it cleaned up, and we did take off a lot of the old parts that we're just not going to ever use on it again. So We did leave the cab handles, though. So we definitely wanted to leave that. But let's go look at this Chevrolet up here. So, yeah, this is definitely the guy that wanted the trade-in. So, oh wow, this is not a stock truck. So it has a roll pan. I don't know if that's just me, but this thing looks kind of squatted, actually. Uh, we got a toolbox, got an antenna on the top there. Interior is pretty clean. Must have a tune. It has the screen for it. Uh, tail or the headlights look somewhat tinted out. That engine does not look close to stock. Uh, stock wheels and tires. So I wonder if this thing's somewhat of a sleeper build. I don't know. I'm gonna go in here and talk to the guy. I'm gonna get that Chevy off and onto the lift, and I will talk to you guys here shortly. Alright guys, so I am moving out a bunch of things because a lot of it just sold. So this is going to a guy about, I think it's three hours from here. He got some plans. I guess he wants to lift it up some more and throw different wheels and tires onto it. So I was going to throw stocks on it, but he bought it as is, so I'm not going to do that to the guy. And then this truck here and trailer sold and this truck so the Cummins was more of a package deal with it if they wanted it but they decided to go with the Chevy I still gave them a huge deal on the trailer and the uh, Chevy so and yes all these are going together so just get this hauled out here I think we'll put it on this side over here so it's more of an easier way to leave. Also, the forestry machine that was sitting here for the longest time, yes, I did return it finally. After I don't know how many months of it sitting there. But we got this to get out of here. And then we got one more vehicle. So we're only going to have two vehicles left in here. Which will be... the Ford and then the Mega Cab. The Mega Cab has not sold yet, but I do have a possible guy looking for it, so it's very possible that that will sell really soon. This is so much cleaner than I had it before. Oh my god. Yeah, this is definitely a setup. No, that's like really clean though. Alright, anyways, uh, you guys don't remember, we built the same, ooh, I can't even remember, a month or two back, and since then, it's just, it's gotten a lot of attention in the showroom, so we're going to have to definitely find another one and build it, uh, build it somewhat, maybe identical, maybe a little different. But yeah, that's definitely got a lot of the attention in the showroom.
but yes, this is, I think, actually staying in town here. So, that would be pretty cool for that. But, anyways, I'm going to get these things. I can't really do anything. I'm waiting for the trucks in the back to be done, and then we can kind of be shifting stuff around in here some more. But, other than that, the guys are going hammer in the back with those trucks. I think we got the Chevy long box that we got on trade all torn down pretty much. Alright guys, so we're in the front here and I somehow just discovered this place actually has working lights but the trucks are done. Now you can kind of see one actually right there. That's the Ford. Now they all in my opinion look sick but I don't know. Let me know which one you guys like the most. I think I like the Ford the best. But, we're going to be starting off with the Chevy that we just got. Now, this thing we got on trade, about the same time we got those, uh, that Chevy and that uh, Ford there, we came back from getting them and we got this on trade. And completely redid it, left the roll pan, redid it in complete brand new wheels and tires. I'll just look under the hood and show you this. We didn't touch anything under here. We already took it for a spin, and this thing is crazy. Did redo the headlights. Uh, I think we threw that box in the back there. Yeah, we did. We threw that in the back. Everything else is stock. Kind of gave the guys full range with this truck here, and then left it squatted. It doesn't look as bad now, but anyways, we'll get onto this in a sec. As you guys knew, we had a Toyota Hilux sitting right over there. This thing turned out great. I love this thing. It's probably the most off-roady kind of build we has have ever done. I might take it on the trail just down the road. Maybe next episode, the next two episodes. So we won't put this one up for sale yet. But we'll put it where the jeep was which yes this thing is now on the showroom it's the tank jeep so hopefully that thing can get sold relatively soon but yeah we got this thing here and i just wanted to put it on the lift to kind of show you guys yeah this thing suspension is crazy didn't touch anything on the inside we did add a light bar front and rear bumper obviously wheels and tires and lift Redid the suspension completely, redid underneath the truck. Added the toolbox in the back here, added diamond plating in the bed, added a spare wheel, and took off the tailgate. Now, the tailgate, when you do buy this truck, we still have it, and we did paint it red, so obviously you got that option as well. We can take the tailgate, we'll just kind of throw it in there. Uh, but we'll get to that last. Here's the Ford, obviously as you guys know, this thing did not look like this at all. We were going to do the tan, but decided to do the white, and we were going to do all white, but we decided to do uh, gray on the accents. So, color matched rear bumper, fender flares, all that stuff, and front bumper. Left a few things chrome, which we weren't originally going to do, but we left some of the grill accents chrome. Uh, emblems now blacked out, color matched headlights. We did do a 2017, we were able to find a parts truck, and we got these 2017 tow mirrors off of it. Pretty sweet. We smoked out all the windows, redid the third brake light, put in a cam locker uh, toolbox here. We always put these usually in our builds, which is great to have in your truck. And then we put in some raccoon tail lights. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And then we put in our, well, we repainted the hitch connector and we put in a hitch and a gooseneck as well. This thing didn't have a gooseneck before. And then obviously we threw some American Forces on it. And yeah, it literally, we did accents, gray accents in them. So it's the same gray as on the sides here. Track bars, this thing. We also did an exhaust here doesn't sound really any different than it did before but this thing is probably going to be our shop truck now and we also did throw on some wheel lights i was going to throw on one of those uh, little lights on top i can't remember the name off the top of my head right now but 
was going to throw one of those on, decided not to, but this thing is stupid bright. So, anyways, this truck is the one that I really wanted to test you with you guys. So, okay, we're going to ignore that sticker. But, we left original tail lights. We might change those eventually. Color matched rear bumper, color matched front bumper, grill. We put 2015 tow mirrors on here, which are also color matched. New t new headlights, TIS wheels with some street tires, or maybe, no, never mind, American Forces. And a bed stack. So, this thing I think is pushing around 800 horsepower. So, we'll just uh, get this thing off the ramp here. Take this thing for a nice little test drive. So you guys can tell it just wants to take off there. Probably shouldn't go down town here, the cop might get me, but this thing does go stupid fast for what it does. Yeah, 140, 150, 160, 170, just like it's nothing. Maybe we'll take it down the other road over there. I'm not gonna lie, a little stupid of me. I was obviously flooring it and I just dodged a train. So, yeah, this thing would have been almost destroyed if I was like a second or two later. Anyways, let's uh, go flying down this road here. Seventy. 180, 190, 200, 210. Okay, and we almost wrecked it. Might need a new front bumper. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I'm going to try and keep making and uploading videos like this more often. I think probably the dealership series will be the only one on the channel for the next little while here. I don't know, I want to try and make, I think, about more, 8 more, 8 to 10 more videos at this location, and then we might end up moving. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are down below in the comments. Uh, let me know also what you guys think of this video, because I am using a new screen recorder. This is OBS software, so hopefully it turns out good. So far, it seems to be doing pretty good, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.